Uh, you know what? It, really, if you have an evening plans, it still looks pretty good. Temperatures will be in the 50s, but ah. Eh. It's not cold. Here in Oklahoma City right now, we are at 64 degrees. Normal high is about 52 degrees. So we're still well above that. Made it again to that 72 that I was showing you here at the top of the newscast. A light northeast wind now at 5. So the cool front is actually working its way through the city. Behind the front, we have some mid to upper 50s. Out ahead of it, we have mid to upper 60s. So it is warmer out ahead of it. And behind it, even some 40s creeping in up north. So the front is just going to keep oozing south this evening and tonight. So tomorrow, when you get up, we're going to have clouds developing behind that front. We're going to have a little drizzle. We're going to have fog. That'll hang around tomorrow, western Oklahoma. You might see a little sunshine tomorrow. And it's all about this, right? That's our storm we've been talking about since last week. We're calling that storm one on the nine day. Rain breaks out Wednesday morning. It increases a lot Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, Wednesday night into your Thursday morning, and then by Thursday afternoon, that'll be off into eastern Oklahoma. And then the second storm comes out Friday night into Saturday morning with another weaker system. It'll be that system there with a little more rain, not a whole lot out of that second system. And then the third comes out early next week, maybe a little bit of rain, but what this will do for us really is it gives us a big warm up into Monday of next week, a week away. That'll move by, and then we'll bring in some Arctic air after that. Let's talk about the short term. So the clouds, the low clouds begin to really increase tonight and tomorrow. Now tomorrow is completely dry. I've jumped ahead into your Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, light to moderate rain, might even have a little thunder in here. It's going to be a cold rain that will go on Wednesday night again into your Thursday morning. And then by Thursday afternoon, we see sunshine coming in out west. Storm system is out of here, but uh, man, rain amounts. If we were colder, gosh, this would be an impressive snowstorm, but it's not going to be snow. It's going to be all rain. We're talking about a half an inch across the metro, some areas a little more, a little less. Heaviest rain right now look to be down across southern and southeastern Oklahoma. I want to point out some of the data is trying to put a heavy band of rain along and northwest of I-44 up in here. I know you folks in northern and northwestern Oklahoma would welcome that. So we'll look at new data and we'll fine tune the forecast. But right now, the consensus is as you move farther south and east, the rain amounts will be heavier. But man, if we pick up a half to an inch in Oklahoma City, wow, that's big time. All right, lows tonight, 30s and 40s. The clouds, the low clouds, and the fog begin to develop tonight. Watch it happen here. And again, I 40 South, visibilities for that morning drive down to nearly zero. I 40 South, northern Oklahoma, the air is going to be drier, not much fog there. But what fog we do have will begin to lift and break up, and then that'll be the end of that. But the clouds, I-35 eastward tomorrow, still hang tough. All right, so tonight through tomorrow morning, clouds, yes, fog and drizzle in the green. That includes Oklahoma City. Highs tomorrow, 40s and 50s. So today, 70s and 80s. Tomorrow, we're going to cut it in half. Wednesday, 40s, yuck, cloudy skies. Wednesday morning through the afternoon into the evening, a 100% chance of rain into Wednesday night, into your Thursday morning. And then by Thursday afternoon, it'll be out of here, but still chilly in the morning. And then by Thursday afternoon, we'll jump it to a high of 64 as that system is long gone. Friday, cooler, high of 53. Next shot of rain, Friday night, early Saturday morning. The weekend looks okay. And then next week, big warm up Monday, and then Arctic air for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.